Christian been good to us today? Can you say that again? Amen. And what do we mean? Amen. The prayer requests around the world. Amen. God has been a blessing. God has been a blessing. Amen. The live broadcast. Amen. On last week alone, we reached 180,000. He's the one that took your blessing 
away from Satan. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Took your blessing away from the devil. Amen. 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 It's 18 and verse uh, yeah, 18 verse 20 chapter. And Jesus came and expected them and said, All power is given to me in heaven and earth. So we need to amen. Think about that, praise God. Jesus said, All power has been given to me in heaven and earth. And you're going to find an amen. Talk about this amen in the book of Hebrew today. Can you say amen again? Amen. What we're talking about, amen. Because at one point, our rest was lost. Amen. Amen. The whole world was lost. Jesus came to restore the world. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, I, I got that. Uh, amen. This is the amen. Praise God. We come out of the book of Hebrew. Amen. And, and I believe that's the very first chapter of the book of Hebrew. And you say amen again. Yeah. Amen. The Lord is precious and good. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He says here, yeah, amen. For unto the angel has he put in service. The word to come, whereof we speak. But one in a safe place testifies, saying, What is man? And I am mindful of him, of uh, the Son of Man, and I have visited him. Thou make him a little lower than the angel, that I have crowned him with glory and honor, and that and did set him over the works of thy hand. I have put all things in such an under his feet, for in that he put all in such under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. But then we say the rest of this we go swear. But we see Jesus. Who are made a little lower than the angels uh -huh. for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he by the grace of God should take death for every man. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. The one thing I want to get you get to your point over to you today. Now, again, Jesus comes to restore, but I'm going to have to turn to the book of Genesis. To let you know what man had in the beginning. Yeah. And I'm coming back to tell this. Amen. Man was blessed. Amen. I said man was blessed. Amen. Do you not know that God made Adam and blessed him? Would you believe that? God made Adam and blessed him. In Genesis of every first chapter, praise God. Amen. Amen. And I want you to understand that. What man was made like? Man was a man, praise God. This is what happened, praise Amen. Every first chapter, in verse 26. And God said, Let us make man in our image. Out of our life. He made me like God. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You know, amen. Man made like God. Let him make man out of that like him. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cows and over all the earth. And over every creepy thing that creep on the earth. So God put man, put Adam on everything. Adam was over the whole world. Hold up. Oh, yo, this one time. I said, Adam had God put Adam over the whole earth. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all get that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen, praise God. I gave him that name and that kind of authority, that kind of power. Okay, amen. And God created man in his own image. In the image of God, and whatever God is, that's what He created man. Man is like God. Uh, man is like God. Amen. You don't know like God when you look at man, because God created man in His own image. 
In the image of God created him. Yeah. See you go. In the image of God created me. Made him me black God. He looked good. Amen. He was to have authority over us. Yeah. You know, he was to take my man the power and the authority that God gave him. Amen. God was just gonna come down and talk to him in the cool of the evening and amen have fellowship with me. Yeah. Amen. And prayer for me. And God will, amen. You know, amen, praise God. The only thing God will, uh, 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 and the God that really in the place of the way, God will come in and the presence of God with this. God will come down and visit me, visit Adam, and talk to him, amen. Amen. But this is what, what the thing is that what, what, what we get here. Amen. This is what happened, amen. 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 The male and female. And God bless him. And God said, Amen. God said unto him, Be fruitful and multiply and repentance the earth and subdue it. And, it. and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over every living thing that will go to it. And Amen. And God said, Behold, I have given unto you every good. Amen. See, which is upon the face of the upon all the earth, and every tree in the in the which is the, tree, the fruit of a tree, the other seed to you, it shall be for me. And to every beast of the sea of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to every thing that creep upon the earth, whereof that he lie. I have given every green herd for of meat. This is what God and it was so. And he said, God, God said, and God did God said, and God saw everything that he had made, and it only was good. And even more see, God gave him authority over everything. God gave him authority over everything. Give him authority over the whole earth. And it's our thought that we're looking when we really look at, amen, what we, what man was like. Man had authority over everything. Right? Oh, yeah. Well, amen, what happened is to that authority, amen, the devil come in and stole that authority. The devil came in and stole, amen, authority, praise God, from him, praise God. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. He said, the devil, the devil is a devil. Can you see that again? And he come to steal and to kill and to destroy. And man had a good thing going for him, praise God. But the run of that, amen, he cried that the devil take it away from him. He cried that the devil steal in victory. And amen, when the evening, man, went out, amen, and the devil the fruit and Amen. Which God had told me not to eat of the fruit of the tree of good of knowledge of good and evil. Amen. So the devil, amen, deceived him. Yeah. See, when the devil deceived him, the whole earth become corrupted. Uh -huh. Whole earth, amen. That's the matter, amen. When he disobeyed God. Amen. Amen. When he disobeyed God, disobeyed the word of God. And when he disobeyed God, the whole earth yeah. died. Right. Death. Mm -hmm. Sin. Yeah. Entered into the world. Yeah. Sin entered into the world, praise God, when Adam and Eve sinned. Yeah. When that sin entered into the world, amen, it made everybody in the world become sin. You know what I mean? The blood tent got in the bloodline. Yeah. And man become sinful, praise God. Yeah. And because sin brought forth death. Yeah. See, death, amen. I said the wages of sin is yeah. death. Yeah. Wages of sin is death. So let us, amen, let's see what it is. Let's just go here, praise God. And then we get back to the praise God. The Lord is just good anyway. Yeah. Amen. What I'm saying to the amen, praise God. I believe God, yes or no. Amen. And praise the Amen. The Lord is good. 
We pray today, man. Praise God. Let us pray and say, Lord. Amen. The Lord is just precious. He's good to us all, yes. all the time. I mean, oh God is just good to us. Yes. Amen. God is good to us. Praise God. And we, we, man, we thank God for His goodness and mercy. Can you say, man, again? Because God is just so good. And this is what, this is what I want to give you. Praise God, DJ. And first Christian. Amen. In the pool, this for the for the for the boys, the fifty jab for the boys, and so is it the ring. The first made Adam was made a living soul. Last made last Adam was made a quicken spirit. I read that with you. Amen. The first with your spirit. But that which is come, and, and after that, which is spirit. The first man is of the earth. The second man is the Lord from heaven. So, amen. Now, you get the point in which you have it. Jesus, amen, Adam, amen, and went down and was defeated by Satan and lost our blessing. And lost the world. Now, when he gave the world to give the whole world in the hand of Satan, he gave this world over to Satan. For Satan met Jesus on the mountain, and Satan says to Jesus, if you bow down with him, that all this was given, all this was given to you, for it had been delivered to me. Adam delivered the world over to Satan, over to Satan, and Satan was in the and this is why he wanted to praise God. Satan was the ruler of the world. Amen. He was in charge of the world. And therefore, God had to, amen. The first Adam failed. The very first Adam was deceived through disobedience. He disobeyed God. He disobeyed what God told him. God told him not eat of tree of good, of knowledge of good and evil. Amen. But he didn't really do it himself, but, you know, I, amen. I, I got to come to the conclusion, amen. Amen. He probably was sitting up on the tree somewhere. Let his wife go out and pick the fruit, and God told him to do it. Amen. God told him to do it, you know. Yeah. Amen. You know, he was, amen, and, and he was too lazy to come amen. to the prayer of God. Amen. Amen. Oh. amen. Yeah. Man, they were lazy. He had the woman done what God told him to do. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. He done what he was supposed to be done. But God had told Adam, he didn't tell Eve, amen, not eat the fruit. He told Adam not to eat the fruit. Can you say amen? Adam knew better, praise God. Can you say amen? But he had his wife out there picking the fruit. Amen. And he eat it. Are you just one of them, but because he ate that fruit, amen, he destroyed, he lost. Amen. He committed high treason. Yeah. He lost, amen, everything that God had given to mankind. Mm. And that's why we come to our lesson today to realize, amen, this is why Jesus came on the scene. Because Satan had lost everything. The devil was in charge of the world. The devil was in charge of everything. There was a, 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 a ruler of everything. So we come back now, let's in Hebrew here. Amen. Now we see what God is getting ready to restore, uh, trying to restore back to man. He said, Amen. amen. Do it back to man. Give him back his power. Amen. And God, amen. For, uh, and to the angels, he said, God to the angels, he put them in service. It's back in Hebrew. And the world to come, where I will be speaking. But one in a safe place testified, saying, What is me? And I are mindful of him. God still mindful of me. And what is me? I am mindful that I make him a little lower than that. Oh, glory to God. Amen. A amen. I am mindful of him. What I mean that I am mindful of him. For God, uh, what, amen. For God make him a little lower than the angels. God make him a little lower than the angels. 
Praise God. They crowned him with glory and honor. And then they set him over the works of the day. So in any in, 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 in way, God has put us over his blessing. Amen. Now, now, amen. I understand that men know me. Amen. God will bless what we want man and men too. But he, he, God has, in order to receive the bless of God, we got to not get in the presence of God. Or come in contact with God. Amen. I get the amen to know God. Can you say amen again? That's one thing we got to know God. And then we come in and Jesus would come back to take back what the devil has stole from man. The devil stole our blessing. Can you say amen again? But 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 we see Jesus. Now we look at that We see Jesus who was the and made a little lower than the angels. So he made lower than angels because if he had made like the angels, he couldn't die. So the man, the blessing I look at was in uh, uh, he had to die. All the way he could bring back, Amen, our blessing and restore back the wealth of the world, he had to die. Amen. Amen. A little more than angels. Amen. For the suffering of death. So we got to die. Jesus got to die to bless us. But crying out with glory and honor that he might, by the grace of God, uh -huh, should taste death for every, every man. By the grace of God, he would taste death for every one of us. Isn't that amazing? Jesus would take death in one of us. But Jesus had to go through it. The Bible said Jesus would suffer and would tempt in all points, and yet he would not sin. He did not even that he would tempt it. He went through, praise God. Amen. Because, amen, he had to take death in one of us. See, otherwise, he had to, go, had to defeat the devil. Can you say that again? But we see Jesus, praise God, and oh my God. For it became him for whom are all things. Amen, Jesus. You know, we tell you he got no problem with it. Come here for all things because he had to do all things. Amen. It's free us. It's a free high blessing. And by whom are all things? In bringing many sons of the glory. Now here he come with me. To make the captain of the salvation perfect through suffering. He gave to make the captain of the captain bring you the man, praise God. That's something we have to do in life. We may not realize it, but amen. He came to make the captain of our salvation perfect do something. So Jesus had to suffer, amen. Now we, we look at it, amen. So when he, Jesus had to go through suffering, and, and he suffered, amen, to make our captain our salvation perfect. This is what he said a little more again. Amen, praise God. But both he that sanctified, they who are sanctified are all one. So he sanctified. He come in to make captive in and he was going to sanctify us. Right? Now sanctify. You know, sanctify means set apart. You know, you can't have the rest of God, amen. You can't have be real with God unless then you sanctify. But sanctified, what sanctified means be set apart and dedicated for the service of God. Can you say amen again? So we had an amen. Jesus gave me a bit of praise. God. He said, For both he and sanctified, they who are sanctified are all of one for this cause. He's not ashamed to call them brother. Amen. So he's not ashamed to call them brother, praise God. Amen. Isn't that a blessing? Saying, I'm going to declare that name in the midst. I carry the name to my brother in the midst of the church. But I sing praise unto thee. And again I will put my trust in him. And again, and, and again, behold, behold, I am the children which God has given me. For I wait then the hours the children of partake of flesh and blood. He also himself likewise took part of the same. That through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. And that is the devil. So he came out through death, he came out, he would destroy the one that had the power of death. And that is who? The devil. Amen. The 
devil had the power of death. Amen. He had that devil. Amen. When Adam sinned, amen, he turned everything over to the devil. See, the devil could kill. He could do what he wanted to do. But Jesus, amen, to death that he may destroy him that had the power of death. And that is the devil. Praise God. And deliver them who to fail death with all our lifetime subject to money. Oh my God. Amen. Is that praise God? You see, we amen. God is just real anyway. Jesus came to free us from the powers of the enemy. Free us, amen. You have to be. Jesus, you know. I know we go around with this idea and, and people say he's man and he's a black Jesus, he's a white Jesus. Uh -huh. But he was not the one. Okay. He was no black uh, Jesus. Okay. I'm glad he wasn't. <laughs> he was no white Jesus. <laughs> if he's a white Jesus, you probably see him in this and uh a man in this slavery. And you the black Jesus, he was he still be trying to integrate with the white man. Jesus was a Jew. I called him out by when he was a Jew. He came to his own, his own received him not. And the men that received him, him gave his power to be the sons of God. He was neither white or black. And I'm thank God for that. Because the black man ain't free and the white man ain't free. Amen. We still amen trying to be immigrant. Can you say amen again? Trying to have human rights. Trying to get out of human rights. So right, he went right. He was free. Can you say amen again? Jesus, amen, praise God, was and is the Son of God. Can you say amen again? And he said he does all those time, all the time, those things that please his father. He never disobeyed God. Man, I don't disobey God. But Jesus never disobeyed his parents. He would have said, he said, I always do those things which pleases my father. Yeah. He pleased God in every era of his life, amen. He defeated the powers of Satan, amen. He took, amen, the armor away from the devil. He took the power away from the devil. He took the blessing away from the devil. See, how the blessing would rise up in the devil. Amen. You know what I'm saying? This is why you get back to the praise of Jesus when he said all power is given to him. Because now this of the devil having power, he doesn't have any power. Amen. See, the devil don't have no more power now. He doesn't have power over you and power, amen, to destroy you. Amen. He doesn't have that kind of power, praise God. And again, Jesus came to save you to the other ones and and, and to get you saved like God wanted you saved, amen. Since you was a, your bloodline was messed up, your life was messed up. He had to sanctify you, amen. Sanctify you holy, cleanse you up, amen. Purify you, praise God, amen. And then he said, amen. And then he looked at him and said, what is your name now? That God is mindful of him. God is mindful of the son of man that God had paid him a visit. God, amen, is concerned about man. He's concerned about the church. He's concerned about one man, too. But I'm trying to say he wants a man that will stand in the gap and make up the head. He's looking for a man that would call him on his name and wait in his presence. Amen. And be like he, you see, Jesus left us an example that we should follow and his footsteps. The Bible that we did no sin, not what God found in his mouth. So in other words, Jesus walked before God. Can you say that again? Yeah. And many man that he would go out and pray early in the morning, all night long. Amen. And this is why the disciples, amen, want to know how they should pray. They said, Lord, teach us how to pray. Because yeah. Jesus, amen, was, uh, amen, was, was, was a copper. He, amen, he defeated Satan in every part of his life. He defeated Satan, amen, praise God. And the devil, amen, tried Jesus for the end of his life, but Jesus defeated the devil, amen, because he had to defeat the devil, because the first Adam, you understand, lost victory. The first devil, amen, the first Adam, amen, was, was defeated. The first Adam, amen, lost, uh, praise God, because God told him to, to disobey him, and this is why we are the children of lessons because disobedience, he lost everything. Yeah. And when you disobey God, you lose everything. 
She is the party man and it's going to be a good lesson to us. Adam disobeyed God and because of his disobedience, he lost it, the whole world. He lost his blessing. He lost the blessing for us. And he great man. He brought everybody under bind, under captivity. Can you say amen again? We just people praise God. Amen. When sin reigns from 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 Amen. From Amen from Adam to Moses. Adam got Moses, amen, to start to kill and blow the cat kids and bulls, amen, and take the blood, amen. The, amen. The color sin. Amen. The blood covers sin, praise God. It didn't destroy it completely, but it covers sin. Amen. It will, amen. It will take that blood of bulls and goats and what have you and use it, amen, and sprinkle the sacrifices and, and everything will use, amen, everything about blood. Can you say amen again? Why? Because, amen, the only thing that can cleanse us from our sin is blood. The only thing that can purify us is have to be blood. Amen. Because the thing that was messed up was the bloodline. The bloodline. And all that that could go, amen, could free you was blood. And that's why Jesus came to shed his blood. He actually came to die. He came to die. He came to lay put his life on the altar because the only way that Jesus could free man, he had to die. The only way he could free man, he had to die. He had to, he had to go around early. He had to, amen, hang on the cross. He had to die, amen, to free us from our sin. He had to die. But after death and after he had gone through all these different things in life, and this is why Jesus could testify all power had been given to him because he had defeated the devil and every purple of life. He had took everything away from the devil. He had took the devil's armor. He had took it away from him. So the devil couldn't make you sick no more. The devil couldn't keep you broke no more. The devil couldn't take away your blessing now. Because Jesus, amen, has authority over the thing that the devil had authority over. That's why you can, you can be so thankful to the Lord, amen. Because, amen, praise God. Not because they have lost everything, but because Jesus came to restore. He came to restore salvation. Amen. See, Adam was in a place where he was going to live forever. He wasn't going to die. He was going to live forever. Adam ain't going to, because he's made in the image of God. And so since we are made in the image of God, think about that. Man is made in the image of God. And man is supposed to be blessed. God put man here to be blessed. God, oh my God, he put man here to have wisdom and have knowledge. You're supposed to be smart. You're supposed to have wisdom. And, and you're supposed to have knowledge, praise God. Why? Because you're made in the image of God. You're made like God. Amen. Can you say that again? You're supposed to be conquered because you're made like God. God put man here to be a conqueror. He put him man here to have authority. He put man here to take, amen, to rule. Amen. We are supposed to be ruling something, over something. Can you say that again? Why? Because man is supposed to have authority. You are supposed to have authority. You are supposed to be blessed, honey. You are supposed to be blessed. Because you made like God. Made you like God. The man like God. Oh, hallelujah. And even as the Paul said, let them take my me and you, which was also in Christ Jesus. We need to not thank it like Jesus. We need to be thanking like Jesus. I know we come to church, amen. But all we remember one thing. One thing gonna destroy you is your disobedience. One thing gonna keep you down is disobedience. One thing they gonna keep you broke is disobedience. One thing they gonna keep you helpless is disobedience. But when we run, how to obey God. When we learn how to trust God. Learn how to claim the promise of God. We learn how to walk with God, to talk with God, to live with God. We learn how to be obedient to the calling of God. Oh, come on now. We learn how to just say yes to Him. Come on, we learn to start arguing back with God and say, yes, Lord. Then you start saying, yes, Lord. God promised the blessings, amen. But we need some yes in our voice. Come on, when God says something, we need to say, yes, Lord. Hot, 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 hot. But we need to let God soften our heart. 
And you feel like to be God, you need prayer. I use. Amen. You feel like something in your life, you need to get out. Did she do something for you? You need a blessing from the Lord. I'd like you to come and pray for you. Can you sing that again? Because I feel that he came to with us from our sin. Came to free us from our sin. Can you say amen? Jesus came to free us from our sin. That's where he came from. The Lord is there sin in your life. You can't be blessed. And the only way you can be blessed is you got to be ready from all sin. Can you say it now again? Y'all hear that? Sin destroy your blessing. The sin destroy your happiness. Sin destroy your success. In life, it destroy you. The total man is destroyed because of sin. Praise God. And the only way that we can be happy, we got to get rid of sin. All the way you can be happy, you got to get rid of sin. Because the Lord has sin in your life. You'll never be happy to sin in your life. But Jesus came to free you from your sin. Y'all hear what I'm saying? To free you from what? Sin. Adam saw me out. Jesus came to help you. We were helpless without Jesus. We were hopeless without Jesus. Can you say amen? Amen. We pray for you today. I want you to believe God. I want you to know, we may have an income with being free of sin. When you get free of sin, you're going to be happy. Uh, who said the Son of Man said, Free shall be free indeed. Not halfway free, not partially free, but free indeed. Can you say amen? Free indeed. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. God. Let us bring God and we pray for him. Amen. Put your hand all the way. Put your hand. Put your hand to heaven. And I want you to believe God. Because the Bible said, you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. I shall be saved. With the heart, believe in yourself. With the mouth, you confess. The glory to God. With the heart, you believe in God. With the mouth, confession, it means your salvation. You believe that you are. We let you say, we let God save you. Can you say amen? Now look at him, repeat after me, Lord. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, forgive me for my sin. Cleanse me from my sin. Wash me white in the snow. Make me whole. Make me whole. Set me free from my sin. Come with your name, Lord. Can you say amen?
Cleveland, can you say amen again? Yeah. Let us receive the offering today. Praise God. Father God, we ask you to bless this offering in this special way. Oh God, bless those that come, bless those that give. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <laughs>